everybody. Welcome to Game Fest 2019 here at Starfest in Denver, Colorado. I am Robert with the Guild of Gamers podcast. Livecast, actually. Livecast. Yeah, because podcast is what? Audio? Yes. 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 So you live can see us. Yes. So, so the Guild of Gamers livecast. Uh, my co-host JD is running around doing some other stuff, but I have a special guest uh, with me today. I would like to introduce you to Derek Porter from Board Game Geek. Hello, hello, hello. Welcome, <laughs> welcome, Derek. Looks like uh, we got we got a good stream going on here, and uh, feel free to ask Derek uh, or myself any questions during this live cast uh, in the chat. Uh, I'll be monitoring the live chat. Feel free to, to ask any questions. Um, and I'll answer all the ones I want to. <laughs> yes. That's, that's the great thing about the internet. We, can, we only have to uh, answer what we want. We can say no. Right. We can exactly. say no. So, um, Derek, uh, you are a Colorado native. Yes. yes. Born and raised in Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs, and yeah. that's where you live now. Yes, yeah, I just recently moved back there. Yes. Nice, nice. So, yes, we love Colorado. Um, and currently, you are an associate uh, producer and video editor. Yes, for, for Board Game Geek. For yeah. Board Game Geek. For those of you watching a gaming Facebook page at a game convention or comic convention with a game convention that don't know where Board Game Geek or what Board Game Geek is, where can they find Board Game Geek? BoardGameGeek.com. BoardGameGeek.com. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Uh, I have a user account there. Do you have a user account? Yes, I do. What's yeah. your username on Board Game Geek? Wigsby, which is my username for like everything. Like ah. everything gaming related. I, I'm Wigsby, W-I-G-S-B-Y. Nice. I am Robman, R-O-B-M-A-N, which is just my two names just smashed together, you know, on, on Board Game Geek. Um, so... For those uh, that don't know uh, Derek, it's probably because he's always behind the scenes yeah. with media. Yeah, if, if, if you happen to watch the stuff I work on. Yes. <laughs> uh, but like right now, I'm cur I currently edit the uh, uh, game night episodes that, that air on the Board Game Geek TV uh, channel, YouTube gotcha. channel. And they show up on the Board Game Geek front page as well. That's kind of mainly what I'm working on right now. I have a few other things I do. I help produce uh, whenever Board Game Geek does live convention coverage. I help produce that. You know, um, that's kind of my main focus right now. Um, you know, but like every in production, everything you do is malleable and everything changes. So. Yes, that is correct. And um, Dustin Price is in the chat. He's watching us. Uh, what games are we demoing or playing this weekend? Oh wow. There's a lot. Well, I uh, I was teaching people how to play Werewords earlier, which is kind of one of my all-time favorite party games. It's really? Like, yeah, it's like it's like 20 questions with a little bit of a uh, some players have a hidden agenda. It's kind of the best way to describe it. Mm -hmm. But it's it's basically 20 questions meets Werewolf, and it's gotcha. one of my one of my favorite party games. So I taught several games of that earlier. Um, I played Cosmic Encounter with uh, Cosmic Encounter the other day to a bunch of new new players. That was really fun. I, I love teaching, showing people that game for the first time. Oh cause, yeah, because everyone's always oh, everyone gets so wide. Like this is like the most amazing like open ended game ever. <laughs> you know. Yeah, there's actually um, so Game Fest. So there's lots of fests fests here at Starfest. Um, you've got Game Fest, which is probably the largest. Uh, yeah. Of all of them, you have Horror Fest, Art Fest, Comic Fest. Um, there's also a vendor area. Um, there's a, you know, costume contest tonight. Yeah, I, I'll um, be honest. I had I had no idea just how how many different pieces of of Starfest that there were. Yes, I know. Uh, exactly. <laughs> um, but also, uh, so for games specifically. So right over there, you guys can't see it. Sorry. Um, there is a large table demoing X-Wing. Yeah, the new X-Wing Second Edition from Fantasy Flight. Yeah. Yep. Uh, outside uh, in the open area, we have uh, Legion, Star Wars Legion. I did see that. Yeah. Yep, they they set up the Battle of Geonosis. Ge Geonosis. Yeah. Um, so that's out there. That's being demoed. Uh, Teresh Games is out here. Uh, Demoing uh, their stuff, they got uh, you know a couple new ones coming to print. Um, Serpent Master, um, they got copies of uh, Jin. 
Jinns of yeah. the High Desert, which is I've heard there's already been debate about the grammatical correctness of the title of that game. Just play games, have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's still fun. <laughs> yeah. um, there's uh, four levels. Is demoing their uh, man. It's like four dimensional chess. It's actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's it's definitely it definitely catches your eye. Yeah, <laughs> we have an RPG room. That are running what, like two-hour sessions? Yeah, I so think basically, some of them go longer, but um, yeah, you yeah. can you can try out, you know, like oh man, there's a few Call of Cthulhu games going on. Yes, in, uh, Call of Cthulhu, um, uh, Rune Quest. Yeah, uh, I was RPG. actually I was actually invited to go play Rune Quest, but I turned it down because I was coming to, oh, coming to sit here with you, Rob. Thank so. you. <laughs> um, last night I wanted to try it, but I couldn't. There was a Firefly RPG. Really? I'm like, oh, I, lo right. I love sci-fi. Confession. Okay. I, I, I hardly know anything about Firefly. I've, really? I, that's just something I've never, that never hit me. That and Game of Thrones. I just, it never, Yeah. I, it, I never caught the bug it's, for either of those. It's hard for me to watch Game of Thrones because I have kids. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so. yeah, the same thing. And also, I just like, it's, I, I, I don't know. Uh, Game of Thrones just, I, I, I I enjoyed it, and then they killed off one of the, the character that I liked. Oh. Uh, then I was just done. You're like, well, <laughs> yeah. why, why am I watching? <laughs> I didn't care about anybody else. So. Oh my gosh, we have a, one of the knights of me. No, 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 that's the Black Knight. Oh, that's the Black Knight. Yes, the get, Black Knight. That, that loses limbs and loses bite, limbs. bite your head off. Oh, yeah. that's right. That's right. So well, bite, for, bite your legs off. But it is for Monty Python. Off. Holy crap. Yes. Yes. Okay. So I at least got that right. So, um, but. Uh, Man, so yeah, so we have a lot going. We have a, a video room that has panels uh, going on. Um, we did a game designer panel this morning. Uh, Andrew Lehman from the HP Lovecraft Society. Uh, they showed a Call of Cthulhu movie last night. They're going to show another HP Lovecraft I've never movie. Seen that. You know, tonight. Um, so there's a lot. There's a lot of stuff going on. So. Um, you know, any more questions? Just feel free to ask. We'll we'll watch it. You know, we'll read it in the uh, in the chat group. So, um, so what are some? Uh, so you were you some other things you've done in the past. Uh -huh. You were an AV uh, technician and events coordinator at New Life. Yeah, New Life Church in Colorado Springs, one of the largest evangelical churches, and I I basically took that job while I was still in college. And um, it was sort of like I was. All, I had this moment where I was like, I don't want to. Like, I just don't really need to finish my degree because I kind of have a, a job in the field that I want. Yeah. But I wanted to finish what I started. So I basically, once I started working full time, uh, doing pro audio, I I put school on the back burner and just started. Like, I was taking like one or two classes a semester. So it took me like eight years to finish my four year degree because I was oh, going wow. very very part time. Because especially like like during the Easter seasons at that job, they have a big Easter production. It's like it's hard to juggle classes with that production the schedule. Thorn. Yeah, yeah. Well, That's, I I didn't do the thorn. I was working. They had a, a side project for the kids. Gotcha. And, I, and basically, that was a, a show that was that didn't have the resources the thorn did. So it was, it was took a lot more man hours, a lot more of my time, and I was single handedly technical directing that show. Yeah. Gotcha. So I would so I would take this like like one class in the spring semesters, <laughs> so yeah. that I could still do that show. Yeah. Well, because our family we go to church down in school. Security. Right, but every Easter, you gotta go see the thorn. At least, <laughs> if you've never seen the thorn, you gotta go see the thorn. It's 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 an amazing production. I mean, when I first went, I'm seeing like angels and demons oh, fight yeah, like it's, ninjas. It's, it's, yeah, it's got like wire, uh, uh, aerial acrobat acrobatics, like oh my inspired by Cirque du Soleil. I can't say it's like Cirque du Soleil because right. I mean that, that that's a high bar, <laughs> but uh, but uh, it's in that same kind of vein. It's, it is a traveling show now, actually. So uh, it, the Thorn is? Yeah, they, they 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 do it in a few locations across. I don't know where they are this year. Oh, I gotcha. Kept up. <laughs> gotcha. Um, so um, and then you were a uh, a video video editor for Dice Tower as well. Yes, yes. So I I shifted gears career career wise. I kind of traded in rock shows and and doing live sound for for doing board games media. Um, at the time, the Dice Towers were going to Kickstarter to hire a full-time video editor, and so I, I threw my hat in the ring. And I didn't, I didn't expect to be selected because I was like, I, I mean, they're based in Florida, I'm in Colorado Springs. I'm like, I'm sure they'll find someone that's that, that's much easier to, to move in. 
but um, but they 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 liked what I was offering to bring to the table. And one thing is that they were looking for a video editor, but I said, if you hire me, I can fix all your audio problems. <laughs> and it was it was a, it was a, it was a there was a long transitional period because when. When you're doing YouTube content, well, you would know. It's like whenever you want to change things technically, it's like you're trying to change tires on a car while it's going. Because <laughs> you, know, you can't shut down production to like no. to, to, right. to re right. redesign a system, you know. So. Yep. Oh, I hear that. So now, so now you're with uh, BGG doing media with them. Hey, yep. look, JD is here. My co-host, she's gonna come in here and say hi, hi to everybody real quick. So oh, say hi, Jay. So I'm gonna say hi. Hi, everybody. Look, I, I came as promised in the Cthulhu attire. All That's the way right. Up to my head. You were supposed to get me some Cthulhu attire. No, no, no. You said I had to like not be dressy. What qualifies as Cthulhu attire? Just something with Cthulhu on it, or well, no, does well, just have to have a certain number of tentacles? He oh. does have a very specific number of tentacles. My 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 daughter's Oh look as Chantel, our intern at uh handed us, we have this really cool Cthulhu am I holding it right side up? Yes, yes. I am. Yeah. <laughs> Cthulhu dice tray and it's got snaps so you can lay it flat oh, yeah, and like are nice. So these are really cool. Um, they used it in the Call of Cthulhu game last night. Chantel, how I much watched, are these? But I didn't have time to participate. Those are about eighteen. dollars. So if you were here at Starfest, come up to Game Fest. We are on uh, the second floor, level P, or also known as the mezzanine, and you can get one of these. So, um, but yeah, St Starfest is themed, or no, Game Fest. The Game Fest theme is Cthulhu. Um, you know, we got HP Lovecraft Historical Society here and everything. And so we were talking about BGG. Yes. Um, I can't remember. Oh, so work for BGG now, doing media. Um, so some of the, if you ever go to YouTube and look up Board Game Geek, there are a lot of playlists. I mean, you got Game Night. Uh, Color Your World with Rob Oren, yeah. um, <laughs> War and Pieces <laughs> with yeah. Rob Oren. Um, and of course, Chaz Marler hosts a, 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 a very high audience interactive game show called Who's Playing What Now? Who? Yep. Who's yeah, Playing What you Now? Can, you, can win, you can win stuff if you watch. Yes. Just saying. We all want free stuff. Yeah. <laughs> right? We all, we all want free stuff. Um, fun and board games with W. Eric Martin. Um, top 10 hottest games that come, does every yep. month. Yeah, Chaz is doing um, those. Which which ones do you have your hands in? Yeah, like so right now, my fingers are in the game night and the live convention coverage pies. Oh, and I also edit the bi-weekly board game geek show. Um, now, bi-weekly is that so it's twice every, a week or every other week? I guess every two weeks. Did I? That's not bi-weekly then. No, I I, I think it's, it's both. It's, it's every I think, other week. I think bi-weekly means yeah, okay, the same. Huh. Well, it's, it's every it's every other week. week. And every we other just, week. yeah, we just had an episode go up. Uh, uh, just uh, just yesterday. So cool. And uh, game night is in what season six? Yeah, but it's like it just recently, like right around this year since I've uh, come on board, it's now like just become a weekly show. So like the season format, uh, <laughs> it may not make much sense, but technically yes, it's season six, and we do have a a sort of soft point to say that's going to be the end of season six, but. Uh, but like I said, the, the show, it's now a weekly show, and it wasn't always a weekly show. So, oh, gotcha. Um, gotcha. Oh. That's one of the reasons I'm, you know, one of why, I'm, why I'm on the team is because, you know, I can edit those, and it frees, you know, they can, it, it, the production is a lot more streamlined because there's, there's more, more hands working on it. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm like, distracted by this, go this cosplayer from the vault. Oh, yeah. His... Costume looks really. J JD, can you bring him over here? I mean, it looks. It looks really cool. I, I, yeah. Let's. I'll scoot over a little bit. Here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's I'll scoot over here. Here. Come over here. Yeah, come over here. We want to show off your costume. Sure. We're 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 live right now. Wow. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm delaying you here. <laughs> It looks so, fantastic. Oh, look at this little hey, guy. Thanks. He's like a little <laughs> come, come, come on in here. Come on in here. Scoot on in. There you are. Check it out. Can you wave? Say hi to everybody. <laughs> Here's the camera right up there. Oh, wave at that thing. Yep. Look at this costume, man. This is, this is, and he's, he's got a Pip-Boy. Look at that. Yeah, it even lights that up. That is 
fantastic. Yeah. Turn it around that way so they can kind of see. Uh, yeah. Wow, man, that is yeah. that is really cool. This is well done. Well done. This is <laughs> some of the the fun stuff we see. Look great. Thank you so much. <laughs> Say thank you. Yeah, he looks really great. <laughs> <laughs> thank you guys. Yeah. You're welcome. Thank so, you. Um, just some of the fun stuff you get to see here uh, at Starfest uh, with with the cosplayers and and everybody dressing up costume and there's people playing board games in costume, which yeah. you would never see a stormtrooper sitting down because they can't. I am sit. surprised. <laughs> I mean, I'm 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 not like super like keen. I, I, I'm not like very very well connected on the cosplay scene. But I've seen a surprisingly large amount of Scooby Doo cosplay. Yes, Scooby Doo I've seen games Fred, everywhere. Velma. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, it's it's interesting. Oh, we had a little, we had a little glitchy glitch. It's Hickey, okay. Hickey? It's, yeah, okay. No, it's We're back. back. We're, We're back. back. It's okay. Um, so, but um, anything in the future, you know, with BGG, I that, am that, I am working on. That I have he a few. who shall not be named, Aldi. Uh, um, you know, is working on. You know, um, there is uh, there's some big announcements coming that I that I probably sh I don't know if I have the the uh, authority to talk about. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're gonna mute the microphone. <laughs> Alright, alright, we're like, man, I wish I could tell you. Now I'm in the know. It's so cool. I wish I could tell you. Um, so, um, thank you for... <laughs> Aldi, you did not see a thing. These aren't the droids you're looking for. So, um, but Derek, thank you so much. Absolutely. For coming this on the show. Is, this is a blast. I love doing stuff like this. And, uh, and now that we put faces with names, we'll, you know, and you're in the springs, we'll, yeah. we'll definitely, uh, I, I have... We'll have to do some gaming together. Oh, absolutely! Yeah, now, now that I'm 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 back and I can kind of I don't know. I'm, I, it's just great to kind of be back into where where my gaming life was before it got crazy. <laughs> Coming know? back to your roots. Yeah, yeah. Like I'm, I, so like when I moved away, I had to leave my game group and stuff like that. So I'm just I'm, I'm super happy to be with everybody again. So. Awesome. <laughs> well, thank you for watching. Uh, we'll be back in about. And 30 minutes? What time is it right now? It is almost 2 o'clock, so we'll be back at 2.30 uh, with Mr. Sean Brown from Mr. B Games. And play more games. Have fun. See you later.